So, quick one from Trixie D. How do you handle a negotiation when the possible client is the one who lets his or her emotions rule the conversation and tries to hurry the decision and the negotiation and you need to rein them in? Very good question, because that does happen. Like I said a few minutes ago, that the person interviewing is probably nervous too. Uh, so, you know, again, breathe, slow down, and you clarify their emotion. If they're angry, you know, kind of address that. You know, you can say, well, I guess I need to understand your question a little better so that they have to rephrase it. And if they're really being a jerk, you don't want the job. But m most often they're not. I mean, most often, maybe they have a headache, maybe they've had a bad day. Uh, but stick, own, own, own the room. Don't let them own the room. You know, you find out what, start asking them questions about how the company started or how long they've been there or things that are easy answers. And then, you know, you can really set the, the emotional tone and really own the conversation. Questions? Okay. Yeah. One for Max, and then I think we will uh, end the second. Go ahead. Yeah, of course. Um, so you've You've kind of talked about some of the weakness that the women have. Uh, can you speak on some of like the general general topics that or general weaknesses that men have when it comes to negotiation in these situations like this? I think men can get too <clears throat> linear and too logical and not not take the time to really see everything that's going on and not to ask as many questions because men will tend to want to get to the answer maybe a little faster than women. I mean, we all want to get to the answer. But you can really, by just going down the straight line, you can miss some of the, the signs and signals because there are all kinds of signals people give off, right? How their hands are, how they're moving, or how they're not moving. So I think men sometimes tune those out. And especially if, a, if it's a woman who's talking, ask her to repeat herself because she can be telling you 75 words and you've got the first 10. So, you know, just, okay, well, I just want to make sure I understand this. And she won't mind. That's not offensive. So I just want to make sure I understand that what you're telling me is, she'll love it. So if, if she only gets the first 10 or 15 words, great. So can you repeat yourself? No. Okay. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and get to the most important thing first. And don't be afraid to just stick to the same sentence if you have to say it five times. It's okay. But don't go off in tangents that take everybody to someplace else in the room.